So I'm putting together a quick video. Um, this video is dealing with some of the issues after the firmware update. So um, the most recent firmware, which is what I'm using now, so the just to, I'll put a screenshot up for you, just of the, the screen, but the aircraft's on a 1.9.06. The remote control is on the version 1.8.0, which is just a recent release on the firmware, and then the app's at 3.0.0. .0. So two updates ago um, for the drone and also for the RC, which was only one update ago for the RC, um, I started getting a no signal error. Now this is a pretty common error if you look at the forum. And also I had a range issue. So when I did get it connected up and I did get it flying, I only got it to about 800 meters, uh, which is about, uh, how long is that? It's about 2,600 feet. Um, and then so after that, um, I updated the firmware for the drone. And it did seem to fix the issue to some extent. I was getting uh, the no signal error sort of disappeared. And uh, I was actually getting a range, to, it's still around the 800 meters, so the, the range issue hadn't repaired itself, but um, it was actually, the no signal error disappeared. So I talked to DJI today and, uh, you know, basically they weren't much help. They kind of said it's a hardware issue, send it in. Um, even though it only happened after I did a firmware update, they won't admit that it actually is a firmware issue. So then after that, um, I decided I'd update the RC because they had a new update firmware there, and I thought, well, give it a try. Um, it can't though. And I also tried to downgrade the drone. Um, downgrading the drone didn't work. Now, interestingly enough, I did find online that said that if you put the uh, press the RC, let's have a look here, RC Connect button. So if you have a look up here, there's an RC Connect button, sort of right down there. I'll see if I can point to it here. Yeah, so they said if you press the RC reconnect button or connect button and then you turn the drone on, uh, it will downgrade. So I put the version 1.4.0 on the SD card and uh, I tried that. Now it did actually, when I just turned it on and off, it didn't work. And then when I pressed the uh, RC connect button and turned it on and then uh, turned it back on again, it did actually run through like an update process where it started beeping at me and all the rest. And when I checked the uh, SD card, it did actually create a log file to just say um, successful, uh, latest firmware is uh, 1.8.6. Um, so it did actually, I don't think it upgraded, but it did, it did do something where it did actually uh, create a log file to say what had actually happened. Uh, so uh, the other thing I did is I uh, updated the, to the latest firmware for the RC controller. So it seems like uh, for me that's done the trick. So the version I'm on now uh, is the 1.8.0 for the remote control. Um, and so today I've done a bit of a test and you can see me kind of flying around the background. Um, I got out to 2,850 meters, which is roughly 9,300 feet. Uh, I was at a quite a high height. Now the area that I'm flying is there's not too much interference. It's pretty open, but um, it's not like a uh, farming field or anything like that. There is some um, interference. There are apartments uh, below, but I was quite high above those apartments. Uh, so overall, I was pretty happy. Um, previous to that, I'd gone to about 2,000 meters, um, and I still had signal, but I came back. Um, but today, I really wanted to push it and see how far I could get. Uh, another couple of things I tried out was also to the on the RC. I tried just using the, the V shape as well. So they say put the aerials or the antennas so they're flat. The flat part is facing the drone. Um, previously, it always used them just straight up and down, like in a parallel kind of position, like so. Uh, so angled back on the RC and then pointing out. So today I actually just uh, did. I don't know if that's better, but DJI did actually say that uh, give that a go as well. So in short, if you're having uh, issues with your um, distance, try updating your R, your uh, remote control to the latest version. Uh, that seemed to fix the problems for me. Uh, check your antennas as well. Um, you can get some uh, antenna boosters, that kind of stuff. But for most people who just want to fly, that's not really something that you want to look into so much. Um, just using the basic antenna should be fine. It's just a matter of making sure your position is right. So. Uh, the antennas, the flat part of the antenna is facing towards the drone, not sideways, um, and having them either parallel or maybe slightly at a V shape. Um, yeah, so if you've had uh, have any issues, uh, give that a go. Uh, like I said, 
DJI says that it is not actually a problem or an issue with the um, firmware. They said it's a hardware issue and you've got to send it in. Um, but it did actually, all, all my problems with the range issue did start after a firmware update, um, which is why I was pretty sure it was actually something to do with the firmware. And it seems to have fixed itself miraculously after I've done a firmware update. Um, reading through a lot of the forums today um, in terms of what you can do to solve this, there's not much out there for Phantom 3 Advanced. Um, and something else that I read that was really, really good is um, one of the, the guys on there in the forum said, why are you guys constantly updating? And, you know, when you update, there's problems with uh, drifting left and right. Um, and there's also issues with the no signal. There's also issues with the range. Uh, so now that it's all set up and it's working, you know, um, his advice was don't update the drone. Like if the drone doesn't have any issues, don't update it unless there's something that's amazing, like there was an update that, that updated the drone to 2.7K versus the 1080p. So if there's some huge update like that where you're gonna get something from it, then fine, do it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, try not to update your drone. If, there's, if it's flying fine and there's no issues with it, don't touch it. Um, because all these people are doing all these updates and they're actually causing problems and there's bugs and, and all those kinds of things. Um, so now that my drone is all working and it seems to be all um, good for the first time in about six months, um, I'm just not gonna update it anymore. So if you've got any comments, please leave them in the uh, comments below. If you'd like me to review any other thing about the Phantom 3 uh, Advanced, um, I'd be happy to do so. Um, and take it easy and good luck, and uh, hopefully all these problems with DJI will disappear pretty soon. All right, thank you.